good morning guys it's tiff welcome back to my channel it's been a while sorry about that um if i'm honest <laughs> i've started about five or six videos since the last time i posted and every time i've forgotten to carry the video on so let's see if this one actually makes it to youtube or not um but yeah i thought today i would do what i eat in a day 32 weeks pregnant can you believe it 32 weeks what the f insane um i'll give you a bump update i'm just trying to put you somewhere i can get the bump This is the bump, 32 weeks. I feel like in the morning, it definitely isn't as big. Um, when I get into bed at night, I feel like I'm so much bigger. Also, can we please talk about why I'm wearing a fleece in the middle of June? What's what's going on? I need to have a word with, uh, what's her name, Mother Nature up there, because this is just not on. I was really looking forward to having a nice summer. Um, and, that just isn't happening at the moment, so that's shit. Anyway, I'm starving. I've just woke up. I want breakfast. Now, we got our food shopping delivered yesterday, and I got an avocado. So I woke up this morning, and I'm really fancying. I'm not going to say craving, because I don't think it's a craving. But I'm really fancying avocado and tuna and red onion on toast. So that's what I'm going to make. So let's go. breakfast is served I'm looking forward to this I feel like I've got so much to catch you guys up on like so much oh my fucking god wow oh wow look at that spider I'm sorry I'm not scared of spiders but that is absolutely huge what the fuck why is it not focusing for sorry can you no i'm sorry okay um let's just take an ad break shall we oh my god technical difficulties brb Whew, right okay crisis averted my god that was absolutely huge it didn't look that big on camera but it was huge anyway what was i saying <laughs> I think I was saying about, um, let me just take a bite of this because I'm actually starving. Mm. Anyway, I think what I was saying is that I've got loads of stuff to update you on. But I just don't know where to start because there's been so much. First things first, I'm not sure if I've said this in a previous vlog. I don't think I have. But we actually got the garden done. Um, well, when I say we got the garden done, Connor's dad kindly offered to do it for us. So, whilst we was in Greece, oh, actually, that's another thing. In April, me and Connor actually went um, to Crete for a week, just before the baby arrived. We thought it'd be nice to have like an, just one more beach holiday just to relax us too so yeah that was amazing i didn't vlog it because i didn't really want to to be honest i just thought i want this i wanted that week just to be about me and him like spending quality time together and i don't want to be whipping out the camera um so yeah that was amazing whilst we were in greece connor's dad kindly offered to come around and stay at our house and do our garden for us um, and it looks a million times better I will show you at some point, I'm not going to show you today because we do need to tidy up a little bit um, in terms of like sweeping and stuff. 
so but yeah just know that that's been done that was that's like been done ready in time for the baby um her nursery's been done practically there are a few small things to be done still like shelves and stuff um so i'm hoping to get that done maybe this week or next week and then i can show you properly we put up some shelves in here this is the front room so we put up some shelves for my books we put um connor's guitars up because he plays guitar um i got some pictures although i'll show you them later but i got them from a place called mixed tiles i saw them basically there's you probably know or maybe you don't i don't know there's like a family channel called taylor and soph um they're american and i just love their content i think it's so wholesome but basically they were sponsored by this company called mixed tiles and it allows you to have pictures on your wall without ruining your wall you don't need any nails or anything it, they just stick on um so she had a promo code so i bought some but <laughs> Tiffany being Tiffany didn't actually look at the different sizes so I, I think I've bought the smallest sizes so yeah they're basically I'm, I'm gonna have to buy more basically to kind of fill up the wall because it looks a bit silly with just three pictures on there and they're tiny but anyway it's still a good price I think I got those three for 40 um, but I'm going to have another, well, I'm thinking maybe I'll wait until baby's born and then we can get a newborn photo shoot and I can print some pictures of like us with the baby. Not too sure yet. Um, what else? There probably is loads of other things as well. Um, baby is good. I've been going to all my midwife appointments. Um, you may or may not know, I do have a condition called hereditary angioedema. So I have been under um, the obstetricians at my hospital. Um, but they're very positive in terms of like a natural labour. They don't think I will need a C-section. So yeah, and we went to our first antenatal class last week, which was super, well, I found it really interesting. But at the same time, I feel like I knew most of what they were telling us. I think it was very beneficial for Connor um but apart from that we've just been living life guys living life getting ready to become mum and dad um which is terrifying but yeah we're on our 10 week countdown now so it's i don't know i can't explain it like everyone keeps saying to me oh are you excited are you nervous and i'm like i don't know what i feel i feel like it's not real <laughs> I don't know I just feel like I'm going to be pregnant forever does that make sense I don't I can't actually comprehend that I'm going to have a newborn baby or we're going to have someone to look after for the rest of our lives um but yeah still working I go on maternity leave on the 15th of July so like basically a month now um that yeah I do actually have to start working a little while so I think what I'm going to do is eat this drink my cup of tea i can hear connor and reese coming downstairs now anyway so yeah i'm gonna eat this and drink the tea and i'll see you the next time i eat something bye bye okay i've got a mid-morning snack i've just got some orange and another cup of tea of course so yeah i just had um a uh, a slice of this in the kitchen and it's very sweet and juicy so pleasantly surprised by that anyway bon appetit Okay, it's lunchtime and I'm absolutely ravenous. I could eat my own arm. Um, but I'm also feeling lazy and I don't want to cook. So I sent Connor to the shop for some digestive biscuits because I'm going to have digestive biscuits with cheese and grapes. Now, you might think that sounds disgusting, but listen, do not knock it until you try it because it's delicious. So let me just go and plate up my healthy lunch. Also, I only eat mild cheese. I don't like any of that mature shit. It's just too much. No, it's just like, do other people eat digestives with cheese? Or am I just an absolute weirdo? Like, this isn't just a pregnancy thing. I've, I've eaten this before as well. <laughs> do four to start with. Right, and the final addition is some grapes. Now, I've discovered something about myself, right? If I buy fruit, i.e. grapes, strawberries, 
raspberries, whatever. If I wash them and put them in a container like this, I'm so much more inclined to grab them and eat them as a snack. If I, if these were in like the normal tub that they're sold in and I had to wash them now, I'm probably not doing that because I'm being lazy. But because they're already washed, pre-washed, and they're in a tub, I'm gonna eat them. So I don't know, that might help someone. But anyway, here's my uh, lunch. So uh, yeah, let's go eat. So the trick is, get a digestive, get a bit of cheese, eat this first and then I'll show you because you have to eat the grape afterwards because the grape's juicy and it kind of helps everything go down nicely. It's got to be in a particular order otherwise it doesn't work. I'm not really sure what's going on with my camera because it's literally just turned itself on and off for no reason when I was in the middle of filming but I've got the summit on here. That's better. Anyway, I don't even know. I'm just going to start again. Um, I'm back in the kitchen because I'm starving. It's quarter to five. Um, I finished work at half five, so I thought I'm just going to have a little snack. <sighs> I fancy something sweet. I, there's Nutella in the cupboard and it's calling my name. And I'm considering having Nutella on digestive biscuits. <laughs> Oh, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, I could have it on toast, but I don't really want it on toast. And I could also have. I guess I could have strawberries and Nutella. I don't really feel like any more fruit, though. I've had enough fruit today. F it, I'm just gonna have Nutella and digestive biscuits because YOLO. We bought this literally last week. Look how much is left. That's Connor, that is. Honestly, he's like a secret eater. <laughs> you won't see him eat, but he will demolish whatever's in the cupboard. Anyway, let me get a plate. Right, I've got my Nutella and digestives. I'm gonna eat this and hopefully it does the trick, it satisfies me for another, what, 45 minutes. If not, I might have a packet of crisps as well, but we'll see. Did that record anything? I don't know, because my camera just turned off. I think it's about to die and I don't have enough money to afford, wait, what? I can't afford to buy a new camera, so that's great. I hope it was filming, but if it wasn't, this is nice. I'm enjoying it. Okay, just present Tiffany popping in here. Um, just to say that I did actually film myself cooking our dinner. It was a gusto recipe. Um, I can't actually remember what it was for the life of me now, but I do know that I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> but that is just pregnancy brain for me not remembering things. Anyway, I just wanted to like pop on and say. I had filmed prior to this clip of me cooking the food and telling you what it was but apparently uh, that didn't record or it was erased when the camera died so I'm really sorry about that but yeah this is me at dinner time. <laughs> Tell me what you're seeing me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Let go, I don't know why you Right, I'm going to be quick because my camera is just completely messing up. But I'm not going to eat anything else now. What's that? 
too. What was it? In my wardrobe. In your what? Wardrobe. Um, is it an old one or is it your current one? I don't know. I recognise the numbers. It must be. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to... Right, I'm going to try and end this video quickly because my camera is just completely dying on me. I don't know what's happening. Um, but basically, I'm not going to eat anything else. Normally, I have a sweet snack in the evening after dinner, but I'm just so full up that I don't want anything and I'm not going to force myself to eat anything. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'll see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.